Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, we will try to briefly touch upon consistency of system of linear equations and specific to non-homogeneous system of equations. So, what is the meaning of that? Before going into the consistency, to understand, let us try to put down some system of equations. Let us say a1x plus b1y plus c1 z equal to d1. Similarly, a2x plus b2y plus c to z or z equal to d2. a3x a3x plus b3y plus c3z equal to d3. Now first let us try to convert this into matrix form. What we will do for that is I will go ahead and just put them in two matrices both left hand side right hand side as it is. I will write it as whatever is there as it is a1x plus b1y plus c1z I will write d1 d2 d3 I will write the second element as a2x plus b2y plus c2z and the third one as a3x plus b3y plus c3z or z. Now, now what I want to try, I want to convert this matrix into product of two matrices. Let us see how I can do that. Suppose I say A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2. I also have A3, B3, C3 and I multiply that with X, Y, Z. Then is that equal to the whatever we have earlier? Let us check that. Now the first matrix is a 3 by 3 matrix and second matrix is a 3 by 1 matrix. So the resultant should be 3 by 1 matrix which satisfies perfect. Let us multiply this a1 into x plus b1 into y plus c1 into z perfect. a2 into x plus b2 y c2 z that is also perfect. That means we can write like this that is good interesting. Okay. Now let us see what are these matrices. If you look at the equations you will see that a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 are nothing but coefficients of the variables so this matrix is called as coefficient coefficient matrix and what will be this matrix this matrix is xyz xyz are nothing but variables so this is called variable matrix and d1 d2 d3 are always constants so this matrix is called as constant matrix. So, what you can do is if you have been given three equations, you can convert them into this form. This form is called as A into X equal to D, where your A is the all the coefficients of the equations, X is nothing but variables. We are only limited to 3 by 3, so it will be always X, Y, Z and d is nothing but set of constants d1 d2 d3 this format is called as ax equal to d format now we have to understand one more interesting thing that is nothing but called as augmented matrix what's the meaning of that is now here only if i put down a1 b1 c1 and also i put down d1 next to it Similarly, A2, B2, C2, D2 and A3, B3, C3, D3. What I have done? The as it is, whatever coefficient matrix we have, next to that we have placed the constant matrix. 
constant one also so you have a1 b1 c1 from there and d1 from the constant matrix this matrix is called as augmented matrix this is called as why we are learning this because these are important to know the solution of a system of equations augmented matrix how will refer that we will refer it as ad we will say it is nothing but equal to ad okay perfect now let's go back to our topic consistency how to find out the consistency of this first thing they are consistent consistent so they are consistent or inconsistent depends upon whether they have solution or no solution if there is no solution then they are inconsistent if there is a solution then they are consistent again if we know they are consistent will they have unique solutions or infinite solution that is what we have to understand unique solution infinite solution or no solution how to know that to know that this is what we have to understand you will have unique solution if rank of a is equal to rank of ad we just now learned what is that augmented matrix is equal to 3 then you have unique solution you have infinite solutions if rank of a equal to rank of augmented matrix is less than 3 that means rank of a is less than 3 and it is also equivalent to rank of augmented matrix then you will have unique or infinite solutions you will have no solutions are inconsistent whenever rank of a is not equal to rank of augmented matrix so this is how we can understand once given three equations to us let's summarize this once we have been given three equations to us how I will know whether the non-homogeneous system of simultaneous linear equations is consistent or consistent or inconsistent first what I have to do I have to find out the quotient matrix then I have to given equations to me first I'll find out quotient matrix then I'll find out augmented matrix I'll find out the rank of this matrix I will also find out the rank of augmented matrix actually I can place them all in one and I can do elementary transformations on them by that I will find out whether both the ranks are equal to 3 and they are equal to each other or not if they are not equal to each other it's ruled out there is no solution and the equations are system of equations are inconsistent if rank of a equal to rank of augmented matrix equal to 3 then there is a unique solution something is missing I am thinking there is a u missing okay if if rank of a equal to rank of augmented matrix less than 3 then you will have infinite solutions and if they are not equal then there is no solution that's a concept of consistency and inconsistency of system of linear equations homogeneous non-homogeneous homogeneous we will look after some time now what we will do in the next session is we will take some examples and we will see first we will see whether they are consistent or inconsistent if consistent we will try to find out the solution whether there is a unique solution or an infinite solution that's what we will do it's going to get more and more interesting We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now.